If your upper traps are always tight and stretching and massaging only provides temporary relief, then this video is for you. Stick around, tell your friends, let's dive in. Salut, c'est Stéphane from Safe Motions. I generally focus on runners, but runners also have necks and shoulders. So today we'll spend time on this rather than the lower back or the legs. But we'll also see how running can affect the neck and the shoulders. A lot of my patients with neck pain and headaches come in with this area of their shoulders as tight as a rock. And when I ask them how long it's been like that, their answer is as long as I can remember or like forever. They almost make it sound like in their body, that's normal, but I think it's not normal. A big culprit is what is commonly called a bad posture. Those bad postures require a lot of muscles to coordinate and activate together for as long as you hold that bad posture. So for example, if you're sitting at a desk and working on a laptop for several hours a day, then the muscles of your upper back and the neck will have to stay contracted for several hours a day to prevent your head from falling. And it's the same for you runners if you run looking at your feet. In this particular position of the head and the neck, the upper trapezius muscle, which runs from the shoulder all the way to the occipital bone, is lengthened. Not only do the upper traps need to maintain your head on top of your neck, your head's really heavy. Any muscle in a lengthened position will have more difficulties bringing two ends together. Let me explain. The role of a muscle contraction is to bring two bits closer together. That's why the muscle shortens when it contracts. So I've got two rubber bands here and as you can probably tell, one is shorter than the other. See the top one is shorter than the other. I've used the bottom one more than the top one. So if I want to bring my thumbs closer together using the rubber bands, you can see the top one is already doing it. I have a hard time keeping my hands apart while the bottom one is not doing anything. It's just loose. So if the bottom band, this one, which represents the traps muscles, wanted to bring my two thumbs together, it would have to contract that much more. So it's more likely to tire more quickly and a tired muscle feels tight. And that's the first thing to remember. It's not because the muscle feels tight, that it's necessarily tightened physically. In that example, the upper traps can feel tight because they're in that lengthened position and they're overworked. So what happens if you constantly stretch and massage this muscle, it'll eventually get even longer, which means it'll allow your head to go even further into your back posture and it'll be forced to work even more to keep your head on top of your neck. Add to this stress, lack of sleep, other external factors, you get yourself upper traps that are permanently tight. So what could you do about it? First of all, reduce the time that you spend in those positions where your upper traps are lengthened and overworked. So bad postures, for example. Second, exercise your traps. These upper traps are not strong enough to perform the job that you're asking them to do. If you strengthen them, they'll stop getting tired. You can start in front of the wall, hands up, elbows straight, drive your hands up towards the ceiling, hold it up, and then slowly back down. While your hands are up there, hit that like button. It'll make me happy. The second exercise will hit the same muscle, but at a different angle, just to make sure you're working the whole of that area. Find yourself a door frame or something you can hang on to and some weights to put in your hand. It could be like a bottle of water. Lean away and this time you're shrugging from that angle. Last exercise, you're going to work on your upper back a little bit just to help you support a good posture. This is better done with a rubber band. Draw your shoulder blades together, keep your chin tucked in and release. Do repetitions of this. If you don't have a rubber band, you can do that on the floor as well. Lying face down, double chin, arms to the side, bring the shoulder blades together. Open up your chest. And remember, don't stretch or massage those straps too much, only to provide you with temporary relief. This can be integrated in an overall treatment, but make sure that as soon as your pain goes down, you start to exercise those straps so that they can adapt and become strong enough to support your head. Now there are muscles that you might want to stretch, like the sternocleidomastoids, like on the short video that I've got up there. If you think you've got overall bad posture, then check out that video on how to fix it, and I'll see you soon. A bientôt.